Hi, my name is Doug Berquist, and I'm a QuickSight Solution Architect Manager here at Amazon Web Services. And today, I will be going through a demo of Amazon Q in QuickSight. So let's get started with the dashboard I have here. I have a data set that encompasses mortgages across the United States. You can see across the top, I have a couple high-level KPIs and a breakdown of a few different fields below, including mapping and the number of mortgages over time. Normally with a dashboard, what I can do is interact and drill down or filter and understand the data a bit more. But with Amazon Q, it gives our users the ability to ask further questions. The first feature that I have is the ability to build executive summaries. QuickSight will use large language models to understand the data within the dashboard and build summaries so that someone can quickly and easily understand the key points in the data and then go about their day. Next, we have the ability to ask questions of our data using natural language queries. One of the main challenges of business intelligence is that authors of dashboards cannot predict what the readers of dashboards will necessarily ask every time they look at the data. We try our best by building great dashboards and good visualizations to answer questions. However, there may be more information that a reader wants that I was unable to predict. That's where Q comes in. A reader can simply interact with their Q topic by writing their question in chat style within the chat box here. I can ask specific questions similar to show me applicants by loan purpose in Orange County in 2023. And Q will answer my question directly, but it will also understand the data and give me adjacent answers. You can see my answer here in the bar chart, but you can also see the line chart here, breaking the same data up by loan purpose and total applicants and unique number of loans at the top. I also have the annotations here on the left, similar to executive summaries. I can also ask more complex questions of Q. So in the chat box here, I'm going to add my question. Why did the total loan amount decline in 2023? Now using machine learning in the background, Q will understand the period over period change and the key drivers that force that change. You can see in the left, it will give me a summary of 2023 versus 2022. There's a 12% decrease. And there are four key drivers here. You can see most of these are focused around where the loans were happening. If I want to analyze another field, I simply click the drop down and pick the field I want to look at. You can see loan type also had an effect on the decrease in loan amount. And you can see how much it's responsible for that change. Next, let's take a look at data stories. We all get requests from time to time to explain some sort of situation to our boss either through email or some sort of write-up using data points from our BI platform. Now, normally what we would do is copy and paste visuals into an email, write up our story, and perhaps send that off to our boss. Now, with data stories in QuickSight, I can dynamically generate that text using generative AI and the data from my dashboard. I simply go to data stories and I can add my prompt and pick my visuals. You can see here that my prompt is write a story about mortgage applications, where they are happening, and the types of mortgages. I will pick my visuals from the dashboard, hit rebuild, and using generative AI, Amazon Q will leverage the data from those visuals and create a narrative around them so that I'm able to get that analysis going and share it more quickly with my coworkers. Now that my data story is complete, I can start to make edits. First, I can change the style. Next, I can also change the text or the headers or individual sections. You can see here, I can change visual properties about the visualization. I can swap out visualizations if I need to. 
You can see it's used the data from the visual within the text. And it can even leverage Q to make the text longer, shorter, or change bullets. I'll change it to bullets here. I'll keep that. And I can continue making edits down below. I can even write in my own text if I wanted to. There may be specific information that you know about the data or about the situation you're trying to portray that isn't necessarily included in the dashboard. And you can simply write it in the data story. Once I'm ready, I simply click the share button. I list the users that I would like to share it to and hit publish. Next, let's take a look at the authoring capabilities of Amazon Q in QuickSight. For users who want to build new dashboards from scratch, like business analysts, Generative BI has a set of capabilities to empower them to build dashboards faster and more efficiently. The value here is that not all authors will know how to use QuickSight right away, but they will know how to type their commands explaining the visualizations that they want. For example here, build a line chart of total loan amount by month. Once that's built, I can simply hit Add to Analysis. Next, one of the main challenges of building out dashboards is understanding calculations. Using Amazon Q, I can use natural language to describe the calculation I would like QuickSight to build. Now, typically, you have to go through documentation to understand the specific syntax of different calculations. Now, all I need to do is add my command and QuickSight will build that calculation for me. I can hit insert, give it a name, and go back to the dashboard. Now I want to leverage that new calculation I just created in my visualization. I'll click the Q button, and I will give a command, add market, and change to stacked column chart. Amazon Q will understand that command and make the change in the visualization for me. And now I can see the difference in the number of applicants by major markets versus minor markets. Thank you for watching the demo of Amazon Q in QuickSight. And I hope everyone out there will give it a try.